Hey everybody and welcome back here to my channel. If you're not subscribed already, please click that subscribe button. It really does help me out and my channel. And uh, so, before I get into this video, I have to give credit where credit is due. And uh, $2.20 here on YouTube is definitely uh, a great inspiration for this build. He has been building a studios park and I was definitely inspired by what he was doing to create something similar. Now that being said, I do not want to copy what he's doing, but definitely take inspiration from it. Um, and build my own kind of studios park. So here I present to you Coast to Be Studios. I'm not sure where this park is gonna go, so I definitely need your help. So if you have any ideas or what you wanna see in this park, do let me uh, know down below in the description box and I will definitely uh, go through them and see what I like and what ideas I can bring into the park. So I'm also taking inspiration for this park from the, you know, the typical studio parks that you find out there in the world. You've got Universal Studios, there's so many of those. There's Florida, Japan, Singapore, all those ones. Um, LA as well, of course. And then you have like the Disney Hollywood Studio Parks. There's other smaller ones. You have Motion Gate in Dubai, Movie Park Germany. So there's definitely a few kind of movie style studio parks out there in the world that will draw inspiration. So for the park layout, I'm not quite sure yet. I think I want to do a lake in the middle and build around a lake. I'm not really 100% sure how that's going to go just yet. Uh, I just built a park actually that went around a lake and I do like that whole concept and it's definitely one of the easier ways to build a park. Um, but I'm going to see how that kind of plays out. So far, I basically built an entrance plaza, an entrance gate, I've done a main street and I wanted to put a roof over the main street, very similar to uh, Universal Studios Japan and also um, Tokyo Disney. They have that, this roof as well over the main street. I think that's a really cool thing. I kind of like that look, so I've gone for that. We've also included some backstage areas either side of the entrance plaza. Um, those are going to be uh, going to be added onto as I kind of build the areas. I definitely think like one of the backstage transfer areas for a roller coaster will definitely be in a part of one of these backstage areas at the side. For coasters, haven't really got an idea yet. Definitely want to take inspiration from Universal Studios Japan and do a flying dinosaur type roller coaster in a Jurassic Park kind of area. I'm not really sure what kind of areas I want to do or whether I want to just have individual themed rides or actually have zones. Um, definitely want to include those some type of um, movie themes in there. Um, I think that would be really, really cool. Uh, so I'm just going to show you now some clips um, as with me in like normal mode here and here is just kind of what I built on the one side of the main street uh, they're not fully done yet I do need to go in and edit a few little things as I noticed some clipping and some things like that so I need to go and tidy those things up uh, put some custom billboards in there and just try to make sign up uh, kind of a really generic looking kind of New York style um, kind of like main street buildings and I definitely uh, took inspiration for these from Disneyland uh, I actually built a Disneyland main street that can be found on the Steam Workshop if you type in the ultimate Disney main street um, I took inspiration from that build that I did uh, which took me like really a long time to do so uh, that main street is probably like 10 times the size of this main street um, but yeah I did that as you can see here that's the uh, beginning of the map and then there's the whole map there it's about 100 times 100 squares I don't like my maps to be too big because I get quite overwhelmed um, but yeah I'm definitely going to figure out what I'm going to do I'm um, going to probably work around clockwise and uh, see kind of where it goes from there so yeah, like I said, do let me know down below what you want to see in this park. I will try and take it into consideration. Um, here's the kind of the exit of the park, which is obviously the reverse side of the main street. Try to do like a goodbye sign and some billboards there. And I think at, at the end of that main street, I'm going to do like a plaza bit on a water kind of front. So that'd be quite nice. Just quickly into night mode here. I've not done too much lighting yet. Here we've got that, this crashed car scene on the main street, which I thought was quite cool. Um, some popcorn stands. I've done some custom lamps there and also lit up the billboards at the end there. Need to add some more lighting in, some string lights, that kind of thing. Really create some sort of an atmosphere. So I'm not quite sure what to build next. I do need to think of some ideas and find some inspiration of where to go to now. Uh, but yeah, if you're enjoying this video, do give me a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below, like I said, and do subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And let me know if you're gonna, uh, if you're enjoying this park, if you think it's a good idea. And I'll uh, see you all next time. Bye.